What's up everyone, Adam Saxon, Guy in a Cube, and in this video, you may have hit the Kerberos issue when trying to use Power BI reports inside a Power BI report server, connecting to analysis services, and it doesn't work. Ugh, frustrating, huh? In this video, we're gonna look at how to get around that. Data Insight Summit was last week. For those that attended, I hope you had a great time. I was not there, and... I was really bummed about it. I slipped on the staircase, hurt my back, couldn't go. I'm better now. If you wanna help out with the birthday video for Power BI, I'll have a link up here for a video of like what you need to do. You can still send me stuff. Some people already have, and it's pretty awesome. So I'd love to have you be a part of it, check that out. But let's get into how to work around this weird Kerberos issue. So the issue is if I have a Power BI report connecting to an analysis services live connection inside a Power BI report server, when you try and do that, you may get an error. If analysis services is on a different machine and you haven't set up Kerberos and constraint delegation properly, it's gonna fail on you. And so I did a video a while back of how to actually set up Kerberos constraint delegation to get this to work. There's a link up there for that video. So if you wanna get Kerberos working on that, you can definitely do that. Check that out. We have a doc on how to do it as well. But what if you're not the what if first off you don't want to set up Kerberos or what if you do want to set it up but you don't have the rights to actually go into Active Directory and configure all of it? Let's look at what option you have to get around that. And really this comes down to data sources inside of Power BI Report Server. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, let's take a look at Power BI Report Server and see that error message that I'm talking about with the, the Kerberos failure. We're at Power BI Report Server. If I just go click on my Star Wars report, which is the Power BI report that I have on the server, we'll go and run that. And boom, something went wrong. If we go show technical details, you will get an error message that indicates that you hit a Kerberos issue and that you need constraint delegation in order to do this. That makes for a bad day. So let's take a look at why we're getting this error message. So if we go back to the report, we'll go click on the ellipse here, go to manage, go to data sources, and you'll see that what we have selected is as the user viewing the report, which means we're gonna take whatever that Windows credential is that we signed in with, and we're just gonna try and pass that to the data source itself. And that's where the problem comes in because you need Kerberos in order to do that. And specifically for Power BI reports, you need constrained delegation configured to do that. So like I said, I've got a video on how to get that set up if you wanna go take a look at it, if that's really what you want to implement. But if you're in the situation where it's like, look, I, don't, I can't do this, I, this is not something I wanna do, what other way can we get around this? Let's take a look at that. So the other option we have here is using the following credentials. So here we can actually pass in a Windows username and password, or we have other options. We could do a database username, but analysis services wants a Windows credential. So we've got to go with Windows and we'll put in a credential here. So remember that this is a Windows credential. You're on your on-premises environment with actual Active Directory. This is not the credential you sign into the Power BI service with. So this is an actual Windows credential. Okay, so just doing this, that this means that any user hitting this report is gonna use this user account to connect to analysis services, which is okay, this should work, it's, it's fine. But if you wanna actually take advantage of row level security, if you've defined that with inside of your model uh, and or auditing of who's doing what, we want to use the actual user that's trying to view the report. So there's a checkbox underneath this called log in using these credentials, but then try to impersonate the user after viewing the report. And so what this means is we're still going to connect to analysis services with the defined username and password. And then what we're going to do is we've also passed the user credential or the, the username for the user actually viewing a report. We've tuck that into the effective username. So this is very similar to if you're using the gateway with the Power BI service, connecting to an AS Live connection, we will actually pass that effective username, the, the user trying to do it. This will allow it to work correctly with the user that's actually viewing it. A couple things to realize here, the account that you're using has to be a server admin in analysis services. So this is the same requirement that we would do if we were using the gateway for Power BI service. So those requirements still apply because that's what effective username needs to be able to actually work. It has to be a server admin and it has to be the analysis services box. Everything has to be in a domain. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this box. We'll say, yep, go ahead and we're gonna use effective username. 
test connection. This should work because my Ace Axon account is a listed as a server admin for analysis services. And there we go, connected successfully. So we're going to save that. Then we'll come back out and we will run our report again. And there we go. We have our report. It's not using Kerberos. We're using effective username to impersonate the user that's actually viewing the report. And the account that we're connecting with is a server admin with inside of analysis services. Not too bad. Let me know if you have any questions about this. You can leave that down in the comments below and I will try to answer that to the best of my ability or other people in the community may jump in and help answer it as well. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Hit it hard if you want. If it's your first time here, be sure to subscribe for more great content from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.